Marguerite Louise d'Orléans was born on July 28, 1645. She was the second daughter of Gaston d'Orléans and his second wife, Marguerite de Lorraine. This makes Marguerite Louise a granddaughter of King Henri IV of France and she was a cousin of King Louis XIII of France. Marguerite Louise's father was a perpetual schemer against, among others, Richelieu, which put him at odds with his brother, the king. However, Marguerite Louise was born after the death of Richelieu, during a period when her parents had regained the approval of the king. She was named after her mother and after the king. Marguerite had four siblings, Elisabeth, who became abbess of Remiremont, but who gave up her abbey so she could marry the last Duke of Guise in 1648, Françoise Madeleine, who married Charles Emmanuel II of Savoie in 1663, Jean Gaston d'Orléans, who died shortly before his second birthday, and Marie-Anne d'Orléans, who also died young at the age of three. Another little sister was born in 1650, but she did not survive. Marguerite Louise was also the half-sister of the Grande Mademoiselle, who was the daughter of her father's marriage to Marie de Bourbon. The age difference between the Grande Mademoiselle and her siblings was substantial, but their relationship was very warm as the Grande Mademoiselle considered her half-siblings to be the children she never had herself. Having plotted all his life against the increasingly authoritarian policies of his brother and then of the regency of Anne of Austria, Marguerite Louise's father Gaston and her half-sister, the Grande Mademoiselle, became involved in the Fronde. The family once again lost the favor of the king and they retired to the Chateau of Blois, where they lived a peaceful life. Marguerite Louise was a pretty and happy child. During her childhood, Marguerite Louise befriended Louise de la Baume le Blanc, who would later go on to become the first maîtresse en titre to Louis XIV, and whom we all know as Louise de la Vallière. A video on her can be found on my channel. As Marguerite Louise became older, her parents tried to arrange the most ambitious match for her. They wanted her to marry her nephew, the King of France, Louis XIV. But during a polite visit that the king paid them, Marguerite Louise was bedridden with measles. And Louis XIV went on to make a much more politically advantageous marriage by marrying the daughter of Philip IV of Spain, Maria Theresa of Spain, who is also known as Maria Theresa of Austria. In 1660, Marguerite Louise's father, Gaston d'Orléans, died. The family left the Chateau de Blois and moved to the Luxembourg Palace. At this point in her life, Marguerite Louise fell in love with Charles of Lorraine, who was the heir to the Duchy of Lorraine. He was residing in Paris during one of the rare moments when Lorraine was at peace with France. The king, however, did not allow Marguerite Louise and Charles to marry, as he wanted a political match for her. Therefore, in April of 1661, the 16-year-old Marguerite Louise was married to the 19-year-old, extremely religious and stern Cosimo de' Medici. Upon Marguerite Louise's departure from France, she let herself be accompanied to the border of Savoie by the man she loved, Charles of Lorraine, and she arrived in Tuscany on June 12. Life in Florence was unbearable for Marguerite Louise. The formerly brilliant city was subjected to the religious fanaticism of her husband. The couple did not get along. After having given her husband a son, Ferdinand, in 1663, Marguerite Louise moved away from her husband and she wrote letter after letter to Paris filled with complaints about her life and her husband. Despite the couple's extremely difficult start, they reconciled, resulting in the birth of Anne-Marie Louise in 1667 and Jean Gaston in 1671. In 1670, her father-in-law, Ferdinando II de' Medici, died. Marguerite Louise's husband became Grand Duke of Tuscany under the name of Cosimo III, making Marguerite Louise the new Grand Duchess. In 1672, Marguerite Louise's mother, Marguerite Lorraine, the Dowager Duchess of Orléans, died. Consequently, Marguerite Louise wrote to Louis XIV asking for permission to leave her husband and settle in France. 
Louis XIV gave his consent three years later, but confined Marguerite Louise to the convent of Montmartre, which housed noble ladies who were separated from their husbands. The Grand Duchess of Tuscany was only received at Versailles for important family events. She was allowed to attend the wedding of the young Marie-Louise d'Orléans, who was going to join her husband, the future Charles II of Spain, in Madrid. At the moment when the new Queen of Spain took leave of her family, the king said to her, in a hurtful manner, goodbye, madame, forever. Marguerite Louise d'Orléans died in 1721 without ever seeing her husband again, who followed her in death two years later. Thank you for watching.